Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to investigate a fundamental fact of all cars. They need their engines running to charge their batteries. And that includes electric cars too. I discovered it is easy to hear an internal combustion engine running. Not so with an electric vehicle. And everybody enjoys the sound of a nicely tuned internal combustion engine. The point I am making is, vibration and sound tells us when the internal combustion engine is running. So the difference between the car only having ignition switched on, or the ignition on and the car engine running, is the difference between, say, the noise of a Beethoven symphony, or a quiet day in the country. Now when you're distracted, as we were filming this video on ADB headlights, it's easy to end up with a flat battery on an electric car. We're going to have a replay of that video. So, did Janet turn the ignition on or did she turn the motor on? The correct answer is, she switched the electrical systems on. I'm unsure whether the term ignition is the correct answer here. There's nothing to ignite in an electric car. But if you thought ignition was the answer, you were probably correct. One point to you. The term having your ignition on has morphed in meaning over the years from being a single electric circuit that sent electricity to a spark plug to meaning having your radio etc switched on. And the point to all this is internal combustion engine cars make a sound when they are running <laughs> electric engines or I should say motors don't. Next competition, what facts does Janet get wrong in this next video? Yeah, when you're ready. Hello, I've just got into the car and I'm just going to turn the motor on, but I haven't started the ignition. I'm going to first of all turn off the automatic lights because while I'm sat here talking to you it really doesn't seem sensible to have them on. Janet was trying to do too many things at once and got her script wrong. She said she had started the motor but she forgot to put her foot on the brake as she pressed the start button so the motor was off and she said she had not turned the ignition on which she had pressed the start button, this turns the electrical system on. If you got both answers correct, give yourself a gold star. <clears throat> so why is this all important? Electric and internal combustion car batteries are not charging when the engine is off. This simple fact came as a shock to us until we realise that the electric car has two batteries, the one that powers the motor and the one that powers everything else. When you turn on an electric car, it is not obvious that the engine is on or if it is only the electrics that are on, or should I say the ignition that is on. 
in this state the 12 volt battery is not charging. Since modern cars have turned into computers on wheels, the car's computer protects itself and you by turning systems off, just like your laptop does when it's not plugged into a power source. Car manufacturers try to prevent you from flattening the battery by automatically turning electrical systems off after a set time, like your laptop power plan does. But if you are filming in an electric car and constantly resetting the timer, you can easily drain a 12 volt battery. Luckily the penny dropped when the battery warning light illuminated. Then we both realised what was happening. Janet turned the motor on and this solved the problem. The same way as you would plug in your laptop back into the mains. By starting the EV motor we automatically activated the DC to DC converter. This converts 389 volts from the electric vehicle battery into lower voltage to charge the 12 volt battery and to run the car's PC, radio and lights etc. Half an hour after starting the motor the 12 volt battery was full again. Incidentally you can't push start modern cars. You need a battery to power the computer that runs everything. If you did not win our competition and you like classic cars, this competition is for you. Before I tell you about it, we buy cheap green electricity to power our car from a green energy company called Octopus Energy and we are not employed by them. We are on the GO tariff. It is designed for electric vehicle owners but non-electrical vehicle owners can also use it. It provides electricity at 5 pence per kilowatt hour from 12.30 a.m. for 4 hours each day. Go and check it out. Better still, Octopus Energy is giving a classic car away in a competition, along with one year's free electricity to run it and a boot full of electrical equipment. To enter the competition for the car, the free electric, and the electrical toys, you need to be an Octopus customer. I have put a link in the video description and if you use it to switch energy suppliers you become an instant friend of ours because we share £100 between us and you are able to enter the competition for the classic car. The competition ends on 29th December 2020. If you missed it, oops, you should have subscribed and pressed the notification icon to be alerted when our videos go live. But trust me, every customer is a winner with this green energy company. So if you want to be our friend, use the link at any time and you get £50 off your first bill from Octopus.